Cameron Hassel, the head coach for Amy and Lucy Schneidereth, Carolyn Cummings, and Car Carson Harris. And then on defense, that passes over the head of Harris. Ball still on the ground. Harris picks it up. Osterdale with 13 seconds. Eight seconds on the clock now. Grady shoots. in with it. Harris swings it. That's Grady. We'll face off for draw control. A whistle here and Another whistle, so we'll do it again. Ball on the ground, picked up by the Dragons. That's Harris with it. Drexel on the attack. Osterdale at Simpson. Now Harris. Looked like she had a shot for a moment, but then some stiff defense by the Scarlet Knights. Pass inside, broken up, it's on the ground. Pastor somehow comes away with it. Draw control, won by the Dragons. Snatched out of the air by Carson Harris. Harris with a shimmy shake, but she loses it. Harris tries a shot, but it's over the crossbar. Harris swings it, shot by Dietzel, saved. It's taken away. Bud picks it back up. Whistle, and this will be against the Scarlet Knights. Draw control, won by the Dragons. It's picked up by Harris. Grady. Behind the net. Harris, her pass inside. A beautiful shot and a score by Carolyn Cummings. And the Dragons have tied it at seven. Welcome back into Vitus Field for Dragons TV. I'm Christopher Markowitz. Draw control one again by the Dragons. 30 seconds remaining in the half. Harris. Over to Dietzel. Shot is in! And the Dragons close the first half on a 5-0 scoring run. Cassidy Delaney fires it into the back of the net. And this Dragon squad is on fire. Gets it inside, shot off target, but Harris draws contact with a second to go on the clock. So the Dragons catch a break there. A player is down for the Scarlet Knights. Shot is in. It squeaks through Housall, and the Dragons 
push their lead back up to three. So Harris fires it low, gets it underneath the keeper, Cameron Halsall, and the Dragons are back ahead by three, and we'll see it on the replay. And that's two times now that the Dragons have capitalized off of free position shots with just one second remaining on the play clock. And now Dragons nearly losing possession here. Fight for the ball on the ground. And ultimately won by the Scarlet Knights. That's Brooks with it. But it's saved by Bennett. Zoe Bennett putting on over to Dietzel. There's Grady. Pass inside. Shot is good. Carson Harris delivers for the Dragons. Lead is up to five. Drexel is rolling here in the second half. By Grady. And here it is. Here's the look of it. Nice cut by Harris. Grady finds her. Easy score. Drexel on a... F Harris over to Stetson. That's Cassidy. Gives it up. Pastor with it. Tries a shot, saved by Bennett. On the ground, picked up by Drexel. Harris now. Couple nice moves, finds Simpson. 30 seconds, looking to pass. That's Harris. Looking for a shot. Nearly got it to go, but it's saved by Halsall. It would be the Dragons' first home victory of the season as a whistle here. And Carson Harris will have to go to the sideline. She'll be replaced by Simpson. And it looks like she's got some blood on her jersey. Clock is stopped with six minutes and 11 seconds to go. Drexel with possession. Subbing back into the game for the Dragons is Carson Harris. She replaces Haley Simpson now. Harris is dressed in number three. Usually wears number 11, but she had blood on her jersey, so she's out there wearing number three for the Dragons. She's got a minute 17 remaining until she could come back onto the field. Drexel able to pick up a ground ball, and now a whistle against the Scarlet Knights. Still with the Dragons. Harris is bumped, so this will be a foul against the Scarlet Knights. And a yellow card is drawn, so Serena will have to go to the sideline. Sub onto the field for the Scarlet Knights as Lytle is replaced by Tess Howland. A senior from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. 19 to go in the game. Harris looking for the kill shot. No good. Ball on the ground. Oh. 30 seconds to go. And the sideline can sense it. Whistle and a yellow card against the Scarlet Knights. Schneider is, she passes it inside. Dietzel, excuse me, Grady finds the back of the net. And the Dragons put the exclamation point on this one. Dragons moments away from improving to 2-2 two and two on the year. Clock runs and that will do it. As the Dragons run onto the field to celebrate an incredible performance by Zoe Bennett. 15 saves here today as head coach of the Dragons. Final score once again, Drexel 18, Rutgers 12. That'll do it for us.